Hey everybody, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I have an update on my Aqua Top um, 24 gallon. I'm pretty much just gonna do what livestock and corals I got. So I've never kept corals before, so this is my first time, I'm really excited. So I'll just tell you what corals I got. And uh, yeah, so we'll start with the hammer coral. Uh, he isn't fully extended yet. He still has to, he probably gets about twice that size. It's on the morning light, so he's not, you know, where he needs to be. And then we have a green star polyp right here, which I got so it can go on this rock. It will spread around that rock, which will look super cool. And then I got a kenya tree, kenya tree frog, which is really small. Those get pretty big. So I got that so I could frag it. And then I got a red rock flower anemone, which looks super sick. And I also got a tiger watchman goby. So I don't know if you'll be able to see him, but you kind of see his eye right there in the cave. He lives in there. Uh, I don't know how I'm going to do this. Yeah, you can't really see him, but he lives in there. He comes out all the time. I just scared him, so he didn't come out. Um, and then I have a Bengai Cardinal right here, which is super cool. A little Bengai Cardinal. Uh, and then we have the, oh God. Uh, we have the fire shrimp. You can see his little antenna, and then we have a firefish down there as well. We have a starfish, you can see his little legs sticking out right there. A lot of the critters I have are nocturnal, so they're not currently out, which is a little annoying, but it's whatever. And I have the, all these corals growing under just a reef LED light that I got with the aqua top tank. You can see the goby's burrow goes all the way around here and on the other side. Here's the feather duster, currently closed up uh, because I scared him again, like usual. We have the flame scallop back there. Um, hold up. There's the flame scallop, if you can see him, barely. And then here is the filtration. It's an old uh, refugium light off so you guys can see. We have filter floss. This goes down to this filter floss right here over the overflow. Down this sponge, refugium. Then back up through these live rock, this is this uh, dry rock, which I'm turning into live rock. Give your boo protein skimmers currently off. Wait, what am I doing? Protein skimmers off right now for clarity reasons. Another thing, filter floss. I have Red Seas carbon in here, nitrate and phosphorus remover in biomedia, and then the pump and the heater. So here's what I have down here on the stand. So we have the whole line of Fritz RPM elements. I have the magnesium out because I was gonna dose it later. Put it back in here. So we have RPM elements. It's calcium, magnesium, and alkalinity. We have the marine buffer, we have no pox, some fish food, um, coral dip, reef glue, uh, calibrator, algae cleaner. And then down here, we have the Red Seas Foundation Pro and Marine Care Test Kits. We have a turkey baster. This is the carbon I use. I use Red Seas Reef Spec Carbon. I have a little pipette for cleaning, feeding my corals. Shells for the hermit crabs so they don't kill the snails. Uh, an ammonia sulfur kit. These little plastic cups for putting frozen food in. Uh, seaweed, drip acclimator. And right here, and then we have reef roids right there. And we have oh, a salinity checker. And that's about it for down there. That is a battery backup for if the power ever goes out. The pump and the heater still run, which is super nice. Um, definitely brings a lot of kind of anti-stress right there kind of helps you out and uh yeah so that's pretty much the uh saltwater tank uh it looks really good I'm really happy with it it turned out amazing um it's been a lot of work and i think it's finally starting to look really cool so i'm kind of hoping that the clownfish will host this uh i'm not 100 sure they probably won't like i said i'm hoping they do so um don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next time peace out